Hello everyone, welcome back to Edubay Global Solution. Today we'll be treating firms' cost, revenue, and objective. What do we mean by that? Let us go into our slide. Our first slide gives all the definitions of cost of production, and also at the same time we have the types of production. Now, what do we mean by cost of production? Our cost of production is the total cost incurred by a business to either produce a product or to offer their services. Now, under we have types of cost of production. Of course, we have to drag the word into the correct boxes here. We have to know the type of cost of production that we have. Here, the first sentence we have, the first sentence we have, Expenses that do not change with the amount of output produced. What are the expenses that do not change with the level of output? Now, the second statement says the cost that change with the changes in the level of production. Now, what are the costs that, that also change with the level of the amount of output produced in a firm? And the third statement says the cost of pro producing a given output which which also encompasses both favorable and fixed costs now let us drive as you can see here we have we have the diagram already but let's fit it into the direct boxes we have the expense that do not change with the amount of output produced that should be fixed cost we have fixed cost here and the cost that change with the level of production is known as Favorable cost, and we also have the total cost to be the additional addition of favorable cost and fixed cost. That's our that is the type of cost of production we have, and we also have the average total cost, average to this cost, and at the same time, you have average favorable cost. Now, let us check. We are covered. Now let's move to the next slide. Moving to the next slide, we have the first question here, which shows the diagram of W, X, and Y. Now let us go through the, que the, the question. The diagram shows total cost, total fees cost, and total favorable cost. Now the question is, which costs are shown by W, X, and Y? Now let us check. We have the line W here, line X here, and the line Y. Now, which which cause are shown by W, X, and Y respectively? We have, of course, we have Y to be total cost, and here we have the X to be total favorable cost, and our Y is total fixed cost. Now, let us check our let us check our options here. W, we have total cost here. We have total cost here. X we have to total favorable cost and Y we have total fees because I think this is the correct answer. Of course, we got it right. Moving to the next slide, we have the calculation of cost of production. How do we calculate our cost of production? And here we have the first cost of pro production here, which is fixed cost and average fixed cost. Now, what is the formula for calculating our fixed cost? Our fixed cost is known as the total cost minus total favorable cost. Why our average fixed cost is the amount of our fixed cost divided by the quantity produced, that is the unit of output produced. Now we move to the next slide. We now have the calculation of our cost of production here. First, we have the table that shows the cost of a firm. We have the unit of output, the favorable cost, the total cost, and we have the different level of units. And the, now what is now the value of the firm's fixed cost? We are here to calculate the firm's fees. As we know that our fixed cost, they are the expenses that do not change with the level of output. Now let us check here. We have for our output one, our output, our output one here is what? Our output one here is, we have 10 units, 
we have 10 units and we have the variable cost to be what pc in the short term our variable cost here to be 20 and at the same time our total cost here to be what to be hit and we have said earlier that to know our fixed cost that will be our total cost minus variable cost now that our output one here we now have eight so this one is supposed to be 80 80 dollar yes 80 dollar now to get our fixed cost here now we now have our 80 dollar here minus 20 dollars which is variable cost now for our output one we have the fixed cost to be what to be 60 dollar now let us try for our output two also let us try for output two for output two we have 20 units we have 20 units here we have 20 and for our variable cost we have 50 dollars and for our total total cost uh, total cost we have 110 we have 110 dollars now our fixed cost for us for two will now be what now be the total cost minus minus variable cost which is which is what $110 minus $50 which we also gives us G60 dollar now if you try this thing for as for three or so you also get the same answer we also get the same now let us check our answer here we got our fixed cost to be what 60 dollar here now that's the correct answer let us move to the next slide moving to the next slide we will now have the variable cost and average variable cost of course that's our second cost of production now to calculate our total variable cost we have the quantity of output multiplied by the variable cost per unit of output and we also have here the average variable cost formula now we have the average variable cost to be the variable cost divided by the output or at the same time you can say the average variable cost is the average total cost minus the average fixed cost now we move to the next slide moving to the next slide we also have one past question here related to the variable cost now let us read, the, read out this question and choose what should be our answer an entrepreneur buys a workshop for twenty two hundred thousand dollars to make plastic boxes in the first year of operation he spent seventy thousand dollars on materials employs 10 production workers paid by the amount produced piece weight as the total at the total cost of eighty thousand dollars and buy two delivery vehicle for ten thousand dollars each now what are his total favorable cost what do you think can be is total favorable cost as we said earlier we said our favorable cost they are the cost that change with the level of production now let us check this question what are the things that can change with the level of output now here we have another pair by a workshop for so that should be fixed in the first year of operation it spends seventy thousand on materials of course materials do change with the level of production now we have the materials to be seventy thousand dollar now let us continue he employed them to production workers pay by the amounts produced fees with the total cost of eighty thousand dollar and buy two delivery vehicle of course delivery vehicle should also be fixed why would this pay to production workers is also material it's also variable cost we have the labor cost which is the which is the workers wages at the same time now we have it to be eighty thousand 
dollar. Now the addition of the materials and labor will now give us one fifty thousand dollar. That should serve as our favorable cost. Now let us check the options. Now let's check the options. We have. $100,000, $370,000, dollars Of course, we have calculated this in our right hand size, $150,000. That is good. Now we move to the next slide. Moving to the next slide, we now have the third types of cost of production, which is total cost and average total cost. Now our total cost is calculated as fixed cost plus variable cost. And at the same time, we can also say that total cost is cost per unit multiplied by the total quantity produced. And we also have the calculation of average cost. Of course, average cost is the total cost of production divided by the number of units produced. Now we move to the next slide. Let us move to the next slide. Moving to the next slide, we also have one past question here about the total cost or average total cost here. A firm producing bicycle has the following cost as different levels of output. Now we have our output and we have the total fixed cost and also we have the total variable cost. Now what happens to the average total cost over this range of output? Of course we have to calculate this. Is it rise then falls? It falls then rise or it rises continuously or it falls continuously now let us now work this thing how let us check our calculation here let us check the calculation remember we said our average total cost will be what will be total cost divided by quantity that is our average total cost will be what our total cost divided by our quantity and at the same time we said our total cost our total cost will now be fixed cost plus our favorable cost now we have in our question we have output we have output one that is we have q to be what 10 units we have 10 units and at the same time we have our fixed cost which is 300 dollar and our favorable cost our favorable cost which is eight hundred dollar now first we have to look for our total cost which is fixed cost plus which is fixed cost plus favorable cost that is we now have three hundred dollar three hundred dollar plus eight hundred dollars this will give us one thousand this will give us one thousand one hundred dollar now to get our average total cost here is will now be our total cost divided by the divided by the quantity that should be what one thousand one thousand one hundred dollar one thousand one hundred dollar divided by ten this will give us one hundred and ten dollar that is for that's our average total cost for output one now if we move to our output two here we move to our output two we have the quantity to be what to be 20 and at the same time we have the fixed cost to be 300 at the same time yes fixed cost is, it doesn't change with the level of output we have 300 and at the same time we have favorable cost to be what 1500 dollar now our total cost will now be what additional of this 300 plus 15 here we have 1800 now to get our average total cost average total cost will now be what 1800 dollar divided by the Quantity for output two is what we have twenty. That should be ninety. Of course, this thing has fall. Now, but let us move to the output three. Our output three, we have the quantity to be what we have the quantity to be thirty 
unit and at the same time we have our fees cost to be worth 300 as usual and our favorable cost to be three thousand three hundred dollar now we have our total cost here will now be the addition of the fees cost and the favorable cost which is three thousand six hundred dollar now to get our average total cost here now be three thousand six hundred divided by what divided by the output degree which is this one will give us the 120 dollar now if you check this thing this thing false and then rise it's false and then rise in output it's false and then rise out output degree now let us check our options here what do you think can be the answer now if you check our answer here since you said it's rise then i don't know it's for then rises again now it's false then rises. where is it in this option so I then for no of course it's for the rises now that's the correct answer moving to the next slide we have done this we have done the calculation now we also have one past question here the diagram shows the fixed cost Variable cost and total cost of a firm at output head that is here. Now, which distance represents the firm's variable cost? The firm's variable cost. Yeah, let, let's check. We have the PQ. Is that so? PQ, of course, this is total cost of a firm. We have PS. PS is also the same thing as the total cost to the output. We have QS. Of course, this should be our answer. And we have Q how also. We have variable cost to fixed cost here. Of course, here we have the firm's variable cost to output. That is QX. Now we move to the next slide. We also have the definition of revenue here. What do we mean by revenue? Revenue refers to the money received by firms from selling their products. How do we mean? That is the money they receive from selling out their output produce now we also have the total revenue here and average revenue total revenue is now refers to the total amount of money received from selling a product of course our total revenue will now be the quality produce multiplied by the price of the commodity multiplied by each price of the commodity now we have the average revenue here so which is the total revenue divided by the quantity sold or price by the quantity sold or price now we have one question here which is also part of your past question dimitri owns a firm that that produces and sells bottles of lemonade he only sells one size of of, of bottle how will dimitri calculate the total revenue of the firm now multiply the quantity sold by the tax per, bo per bottle is that so no multiply the quantity sold by the price per bottle multiply the quantity sold by the cost per bottle multiply the quantity by the profit per bottle of course i've said this earlier multiply the quantity sold by the price per bottle that's the answer now mo moving to the next slide we also have the calculation of revenue now how do we calculate our total revenue and our average revenue here we have the total revenue to be number of units sold multiplied by the cost per unit as i said earlier and we also have the average revenue to be what total revenue divided by the total output sold as it is listed in formula here we have the a half equal to be the total revenue divided by the quantity now we move to the next slide we also have a little calculation here a first average revenue is ten dollar it says two thousand unit what is the first total revenue and the price of the products here we have the total revenue and the price now let us calculate our average revenue and price according to our formula we said 
We said what? We said our total revenue is our total revenue is our price multiplied by quantity. Why what? Our average revenue, our sorry, our average revenue will now be what? The total revenue divided by the quantity. Now here we we were given our average revenue to be what? Ten dollar. And we have we have been given our quantity so we have been given our quantity so to be two thousand units. Now to get our to get our total revenue now we now have the average revenue more that is we have our total revenue to be P times Q. Since we have the price now we have the total revenue to be what we now have the after we also have the total revenue to be calculated as after revenue multiplied by q according to the formula now if you multiply ten dollar multiply by the you must have ten dollar multiply by the two thousand units we have what we have twenty thousand we have twenty thousand units here we have twenty thousand dollar now we if you want to get our price here we said our total revenue since we have we have known our total revenue here we have known our total revenue to be what twenty thousand now for, for us to get our price since our, our total revenue is p multiplied by q and we have the total revenue to be what total revenue to be twenty thousand dollars equals to we are not given price we are looking for our price multiplied by the quantity and our quantity is what two thousand units here we now have twenty thousand equals to two thousand p now for us to get our price now we now have twenty thousand dollar divided by what two thousand units here we have what we have ten dollar to be our price. Now let us now check our options. Here let us check our option. If you check out our option, we have the we are according to our calculation, we have the total revenue to be twenty thousand and we have the price to be ten dollar. Now what we have here, let us check here is our correct answer. Now we move to the next line. Moving to the next slide, we now have the objective of firms. Now, why the firm pursue a range of objective? Of course, we have a lot of objective here which firms pursue. Now, it includes survival of a firm, growth of a firm, profit satisfying, and profit maximization. Now, we move to survival. The initial objective of a firm is just what? Just to survive in what may be a very competitive market that is a market in which the situation in which the situation have many supplier or producer at the same time and we also have growth firm also pursue the objective of growth because increase in size of the firm may also bring a number of advantages of course that's true and we also have profit satisfying firm may also engage in profit satisfying that is sacrificing some profit to achieve other goals we also have profit maximization the principal objective is to maximize profit of course the principal objective of the firm is to maximize profit that is making as much profit as possible now let us move to the next level to the next slide we also have first question here what must we result from an increase in output what do you think can can result as a as a result of increase in output now we have an increase in the variable cost a decrease in the average cost an increase in the fixed cost or a decrease in the total cost of course if there's an increase in the variable cost of a firm there will also be an increase in output now we got that right moving to the next slide well, we also have two past questions here. What do we know as total revenue? We have defined this area. What is total revenue? The 
the revenue per unit sold minus the cost per unit sold is that the correct answer of course no the money received by the firm for each additional unit of output sold of course no the revenue is not the money received on each additional unit of output produced the revenue per unit sold divided by the quantity sold of course no that is average revenue how we have the last option to be the price of the goods multiplied by the total quantity sold of course that is our answer here now the second question we have what describe the total revenue this one also related to the definition of revenue at the same time now what describe the total revenue of a firm income from sales minus total cost is that so no fixed cost plus variable cost no now we have variable cost divided by the output no that one is average variable cost and we have the last option to be quantity of goods sold multiplied by the unit of price of course that is the definition of total revenue this should be the end of the class stay tuned to our website www.edubay.com see you soon